Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. I just wanted to do another random video about one Mark Wahlberg. I will say this much. I do like his, his movies. He do put out good movies. But I will say this much. Um, I haven't like went and seen a Mark Wahlberg movie at the movie theaters in a while. Because at the end of the day, you know, when some things was presented to me about Mark Wahlberg, I was like, okay, nah, I don't know about this guy. Because like I said, I don't have no problem with guys like Jimmy Fallon. Because like I said, when Jimmy Fallon was approached about, you know, the blackface stuff, he didn't sit up there and say, well, well, black people do this and, 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 and I don't, you know, see, see, he didn't try to, you know, he didn't try to play the boomerang theory, try to throw something back at you. He said, you know what, man, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have did it. I apologize. I won't ever do it again. And, and black people, like I said, we moved on. We like, okay, Jimmy, we see you. That's cool. You know? Cause see, the thing is, when you try to point something out to a per to to a person to a, a mayonnaise nation member, they get so arrogant about it. They even have arrogance and audacity when you just point, hey man, you shouldn't do this because you know this means that that means that just like when you tell these these hunky McGee's that they shouldn't be calling black people the n-word with the er or the a and then they try to pull that well i well you know i grew up in a fuck you like for real like i said bill bill maher you know his white ass thought he had some kind of uh hood pass some self-appointed hood pass because he you know made toot toot with a couple of brothers or whatever and he you know screw around with black women so he thought he had some self-appointed hood pass and boy when he said that shit and ice cube got on his ass but then he tried to be slick he tried to bring michael eric dyson on there thinking that michael eric dyson was gonna try to provide you know like a a smoke screen for him <laughs> that was kind of like the one time michael Eric Dyson kind of was on code because I don't really mess with that dude. But anyway, let me get back to Marky Mark. Marky Mark kind of last year got his karma. And I noticed that Mark Wahlberg ain't spoke out on that stop Asian hate stuff. Because which, which, by the way, like I said, I've told black people on several occasions Stay away from that. Don't go messing with no Asians. Don't put yourself in a position to get in trouble. Okay? For real. And I'm going to further speak on that too. He knew better than to say stop Asian hate because, you know, keep in mind, he got charged with a hate crime versus Asians. Now that, like I said, now it's kind of funny though. The Mayonnaise Nation ain't brought brought him up. But you know, they they was quick to show videos, random videos from different time periods of black people getting into it with Asians. And then for the most part, most of the Asians have came out and said, hey, we ain't really been having no problems with blacks. It's you know who. And I showed, and I showed the receipts, but it was kind of funny. When, when Mark Wahlberg got his ass cooked and fricasseed and put, I mean, he got put on the grill, seasoned, cooked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When he tried to say that justice for George Floyd. And people reminded him of his past when he threw rocks at, at black girls and called them the N-word. And don't come on here Well, he said he's sorry and all that kind of shit. Cause like I said, you never let us live down anything we do. 
you love to give us a, a constant reminder but then y'all don't like to be reminded when y'all do something to people y'all been doing shit to us for 400 years but you want to talk about you know what i'm saying that's in the past but then like i said anytime we do something you won't shut up about it you know but it was kind of funny I remember watching that movie Ted when I went to the show to see that movie Ted. And I remember Mark Wahlberg took a shot at Chris Brown after that, you know, it was a few years after it had happened and he took a shot at Chris Brown. About, you know, with the, you know, Rihanna thing. And he should have told Seth MacFarlane with his suspect racist ass he should have said, hey, man, I ain't going to take a shot at Chris Brown because I got issues myself. And boy, was that funny. When he came out talking about justice for George Floyd, I'm talking about people gave him the business. And I want to say good job, people, because he should have been reminded. Now I know Chris Brown ain't been, and Chris Brown, I'm gonna tell you something. Chris Brown just ain't been the same. He just ain't been the same. I feel sorry for that brother because he really turned into the, you know, turned to, you know, substance abuse among other things, you know. And I don't wanna get deep into that, but I just wanted to make this more about you know, Marky Mark. That was hilarious. I just, that was just hilarious. When then people was like, wait a minute, man. You talking about Chris Brown? What about what you did? So, yeah. Shut your ass up. But anyway, thanks for listening. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.